Gaming on OS 4. I used to do this quite, quite regularly um, and then got busy and decided to bring it back this year. It was interesting. I started looking at what games would be available to show probably about four, five months ago, and there was nothing, um, or very few. Uh, and then it got really, um, and then we had a whole bunch of stuff come out. So I like using Chris Hanley's uh, eGame which is a launcher interface for Amigo S4. It's actually quite competent and very interesting because you can tag your games, and depending on your tags, it can do interesting things. Like you'll see here this med nothing is an emulator. It's one of the things I'm going to show. Um, but it has a, a specific command line to launch it. And you can see that command line is here. So any game that I tag will use this to launch it. So I can take a ROM, copy it to eGame, and say it belongs to the emulator, and it will just launch it in the emulator. It's pretty cool. Uh, some of the stuff is beta. Some of it's a little further along. You can see there's a number of games that are listed here. Um, I don't think any of these are based on um, the Nova Bridge, but I did want to give a shout out to Matthew at Aeon for releasing Nova Bridge. Very, very, very cool piece of technology. Um, it allows you to run older games. So if you have, where is it? Sorry, I'm off script here for just a second. So if you have something like Warp Out, it will run. Where did I put it? Might be just in classes. Wipe Out. If you have Wipe Out, this, this should run. It's a demo. We'll see. So this is actually an Amiga X5000 with an RX card, whoops, uh, let me jump over here, guys. This is a Amiga X5000 with a RX card running the warp out. It's a little fast, I think. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, the timing might be a little different. Uh, let me go to this other layout. I'm just going to leave it like this. And fade out. OK. Um, and so it's, it's, it works, and it works really well, and it works really fast. I, I haven't played this in a while. I'm not really prepared to actually play the game. But if you, uh, it, it's fantastic. This is an example of an of a old, old, old 3D game running on an RX 580 on an X5000. That wasn't part of my script, but I, we just learned the other day they're going to release it. So if you have other older games, like, I think Shogo might run. Um, it's, yeah, there was an update to it, but I haven't, I haven't tried that. It was a fun game. The, the, the thing is, it's super transparent. So you don't know it's doing its job. Um, it just does its job. So you, just, you can download things that are 5, 10 years old, and they just run. It's really nice. So I just want to give a little uh, shout out. I'm going to start with... Uh, Caesar 3 port called Augustus. This is a, a crash. Okay, fine. Whoops, that was the wrong button. I don't think that's going to go well. Sorry, let me reboot real quick. Ah! In inevitably, it's going to crash. It does that. Um, this is a, an SDL port. Um, oh, that's right. The button's like weird on the front. I don't even know where it is. Hold on. So the uh, we have a copy of SDL2 for the Amiga, which has some 3D integration. So what really changed in the last few months was the release of the latest enhancer, which brought out updated. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, George. Uh, o L O G L E S. I think it is drivers. So about three months ago, enhancer. Two got an up came out with a bunch of updated 3D libraries, which triggered the release of a bunch of new games, 
because they could take advantage of the new rendering techniques. Yeah, you know, don't, don't read that. <laughs> um, and so a lot of the, the activity we've seen in the last few months has really been driven by the, uh, the, the enhancer release. So again, thanks to Aeon. It's going to spam up there for a few seconds. So this is a Nintendo game. So you guys remember F-Zero. It's nice and fast to get started. It's not like the PlayStation stuff. Oh, what are the key commands? Shit, I don't remember. What? I can never remember what they are. Not a good demo. That's what the thing about it is you got to go in and like look at the actual um, key mappings to know what they're supposed to be. I think I just got bumped. Oh, I'm down here. Oh my god. Sorry, this is terrible. Okay. So the next one I'm going to show is called Cybersphere. This is a commercial game. I actually have the uh, uh, I have the box here. Um, it's it's really nice. It comes with like a printed map. It has uh, a key card because it's a puzzle game. So I think you need the box to like do you, or the box helps you like the items in the box help you complete the game. Um, it's more of a, a point and click adventure. Um, clearly done in Hollywood. It supports MorphOS, OS4, uh, a bunch of other platforms. So let's see if, uh, if, if Cybersphere launches. It came out last year, but after AmiWest last year. So I'm going to do windowed. Listen, that's fine. DGG is a distributor. So it's rendered graphics. Those who know Hollywood will recognize some of the effects that are pretty staple. So we can continue our game. And you basically have your navigation at the bottom middle. You have items on one side and actions on the other. Uh, you can look at the map and you can see like the checkered pattern. So definitely uh, Amiga history. So you can go down into the sewers. You can enter into buildings. So I think we've just entered into uh, a bar or something. So there's the bartender. You can chat with the bartender. You're gathering clues. You're looking around. Navigating through the area. South? Yeah. North. That's where we are. South. The shop's closed. Pawn shop. And you can click on the items in some of the areas and pick things up. This isn't one of them. Navigation at the top. Where am I? So I'm over here. Where's the sewers? I think it was down this way. Downtown West. Nice complex. So you're basically moving around a cityscape, um, and you're learning information. Uh, like I said, picking up things like the the newspaper. Uh, it's the graphics are decent. I mean, it's it's not a, a 800 million or 80 million dollar production. Um, you can save your state. You can exit the game. Um, it's available for sale commercially. Uh, at one point, I did get into the sewers. I was running around. It was quite nice. Um, and you have to, to explore, learn the puzzles, and uh, win the game. So that's one of them, and that one works, see? Now, um, there's an older game called uh, uh, Open Jedi Knight, and Castle did an updated release where he used the new 3D drivers. So this is actually an old, old game that was ported once under the previous 3D driver set, and now it's using the uh, existing 3D drivers. 
and it is so fast. It's very, very, very playable. Let's see if it loads. Survey says. Jaden, we can't get to you. Make your way to the temple. The shuttle will meet us there. Jaden, hey! And it just looks I'm nice. Stuck. The texturing looks help? really good. Hold on, Ross. You can my swing way. your lightsaber. Jaden. See if you can make your way around. You get stuck there. in the river and jump around like an idiot, because that's what they do in the movies. You can throw the lightsaber. There's like some animals over here to kill. Maybe you can use your lightsaber to cut those trees down. You can down knock and make down the trees. It's very realistic. Thanks, Jaden. Let's get to the temple. Can't knock down that one. There's some dogs that show up. Whatever these are. So you have to obliterate them with your lightsaber. How can I not kill it? Oh, it got shot. Is it dead? Okay. Anyway, performance is fantastic. Loaded fast. You can see the frame rate is amazing. Uh, really good game. You do have to buy the, da the data files. Uh, but it was nice to see it get an update after the new drivers came out uh, to take advantage. Space Cadet Pinball. This was very famous on Windows. And that's been ported. It's also a 3D game. Um, there's a bunch of options. You can resize it, but that wasn't wonderful when I tried it last. I'm not gonna play that. So that's a good one. You can grab uh, Devolution X. So this is the uh, Diablo One. Uh, it ported a while back, but you couldn't save. So I, I'm not a hardcore player. Some people dig that. I don't. Um, but there's, a, there's an updated port, and it works pretty well. Performance is good. There's my dude. I got a sword. I can, like, click things. And, like, I can kill them. Everything you would expect from an ancient dungeon crawl. 60 frames a second, all good. So that's nice to see. I, I do want to spend some quality time because I haven't played Diablo in a long time and it was a very good game. Uh, Crow Mag Rally. Now this is fantastic, except for my screen is set way too high and it's not liking it. I'll go to window, it should fit better. Perfect. So, super smooth play. Uh, basically a Mario Kart written by Pangea Software on Macintosh. Um, it's been ported using the latest 3D drivers. Um, it's, it's really nice and fast. I like to give the computer a head start. It's a little easy. But you have little bones you can pick up. You can also mess with the physics. So I turned gravity down one time, and that was pretty cool. But multiplayer, uh, I don't think we have net play per se. Uh, but a very nice, fun little game. Lots of obstacles to run into. Uh, just looks great. I mean, obviously, it's not a modern Mario Kart 64, whatever they could, that's called these days. But it's. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Retire game. Quit. Uh, what else we want to show? There's, there's, there's two more that were done by George here, ports. So he, he ported them. The first one is the Blob Wars. I'm going to start a new game. Yeah, might as well. And this is kind of hard to describe. I, I don't have the um, settings 100%, and I can't always remember the key commands. That's the, the hard part with these things. What's the jetpack? Hey, which one? No, it's a different keyboard layout. Doors locked. Where's jump? 
I'm just pounding keys trying to remember which is the, the key to jump. No. I gotta remap the keys in order to really use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I or button one to make that space. Fire will make enter. Jetpack will make this guy. Okay. This will be more playable. So you can shoot, you can jetpack. Uh oh. There's energy bars, you can pick things up. You can grab different uh, weapons. This is a pretty basic level. And then when your energy run downs, you have to go, you have to stop by um, recharge stations. A little twitchy, but it's, it's a good game. Uh, there's lots of different weapons you can acquire. You can go underwater, get like a rebreather. You can go to acid and die. You can go to lava and die. Don't want to die. There's a key. There's a jumper thing or elevator here. I need a key. You get tons of different weapons, very Turrican style weapons. Uh, it's a great game. It does, it's very complex. There's a lot of missions. You're trying to collect all these keys. The, the last one that I'm going to show, uh, which I've been playing quite a bit actually, uh, I really enjoy this last one, is the battle for the solar system. It's an uh, open source. George ported it. It's based on a trilogy of books, and you're basically flying these uh, space fighters. You have this giant map. Performance is really good. You click a uh, system and start mission, and that's my ship. It follows the mouse pointer, and then you can drive around. There's missiles you can shoot. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, you see my shields. Those are my uh, bullets. On the bottom right hand, you'll see the, uh, the radar which shows you if there are uh, any uh, bad guys. You see that sea of red in front of us? We're going to kamikaze and, and get blown up. But you can fire missiles on your target. And it's got pretty good space physics. It's chugging a little bit. i got to get the settings right and the performance goes better. There's a missile. There's a missile. I'm getting whaled from behind. Take that, you bad guy. A little, I got, if you update the settings, it runs a bit faster. But the graphics are fantastic. Are there capital ships? Like really big ships? You have to, yeah, I was trying to get a little bit further and I ran out of time. I think my wingmen are destroyed now, but you get a bunch of wingmen. Got him. Nice scrolling, good performance. Uh, really, really, really fun game. I played that quite a bit. Okay, so sorry I was a little chunky in the beginning. Oh, and how can I forget Mace Defense? I'm going to end with Enricker X. These guys are the best. No offense, George. But this is all native content. They've kind of switched to Android, iPhone games. Um, they dropped Tower Defense very quietly, probably about four months, five months ago, and someone noticed and posted it, and I immediately went out and bought it. You can get it. You could have got it on Android a couple years back. Um, but basically, it's a tower defense game running on OS4, full 3D. You can uh, plant your uh, various guns. Uh, I've gotten a little bit further. Someone said use the EMP. I found the EMPs to be a problem. They're supposed to slow down the enemies. So you notice they get all glowy here. It does a little damage. They don't actually help. I've passed more levels without them than using them because it's really about managing your resources. Very, very, very well done from that perspective. So let's get a laser. I bought one of those. And up here you can accelerate it because it is tower defense, and that's part of the fun. So I'm going to let him go. I'm, I'm going to let him escape. But you, Oh, did you see the laser pick up the one in the end? Nice. Oh, and I can put it under the tower. Oh, am I going to get him? Get him, get him. Sweet. So if you get this game and you start playing, I implore you, do not start by figuring out what those things in the upper right hand corner do. Don't just like, oh, let's nuke and nuke and nuke and nuke, because it costs money. And when you lose your free ones, you don't have them anymore. <laughs> so I was like, oh, let's play with these. This is awesome. Because you can go to the shop and you can buy stuff. 
Can I buy a nuke? No. I can buy missiles, and I can buy the big bomb. I'm gonna buy special air. So I just bought it with some of the cash in my game here, which is hard to earn because you have to win the levels to earn the cash. And if you lose the level, you don't get the cash. And so what that does is it gives me these uh, additional things. So you start off with a bunch of free ones, and I was playing around, I used them all. Big, 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 big mistake. So let me uh, accelerate this a bit. I, I should, you know, let me kill this guy. So he's gonna pass, and the next one's gonna start. So I'm gonna let him go a little bit into the middle, and then we're gonna drop the bomber on him, and then we'll be done. Oh, what? I upgraded him, I meant to kill him. Okay. Place your target. See the countdown in the middle? It'll get some of them. So now, uh, there's the, the shadow. <laughs> Anyway, there's like a nuke, and there's cluster bombs, and all sorts of fun stuff. Fantastic game, runs, runs great, super high quality, mechanically really well thought out mathematics, so that it's the really challenging levels, some easier levels. Um, you, you get a real sense of accomplishment when you, when you get through them. So, um, sorry about the earlier troubles on those, those first handful of games, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, a quick snapshot of gaming on, on OS 4.